Hi, thanks for stopping by Look Younger with Debbie. I really appreciate it. I'm an esthetician. I'm in my 60s and today I'm going to talk about younger looking hands. I have had so many uh, people request that I talk about that and so we're going to go into it today but before we start please like and share this video and leave me a comment. I would like to know what you would like to see. All right, so first of all, the first comment that I got was someone said, we didn't think that you were in your 60s until we saw your hands. Now we know you're telling the truth. So that made me realize that I've really been neglecting my hands. And then I've had other people ask for me to do a video on it. So um, I have done some research and I've started working on my hands. And I'm going to give you a few steps that you can do to make your hands look younger so it won't give away your age like it did me. And when we come to one particular step, I'm going to tell you a funny story that happened. Okay, so first of all, anything that you do to your face and your neck, you also need to do to your hands. So if you exfoliate your skin, you also need to exfoliate your hands. Now one of the ways that you can do that is to take some baking soda and some olive oil and put it in a dish, mix it up, and use that for your hands and then you can rinse it off. And that will exfoliate your hands. If you don't exfoliate your face, your neck, and your hands, when you use your products and your moisturizers and your creams, they are going to just sit on top because you have all of this dead skin cells. So um, make sure that you exfoliate everything, including your hands. The next thing is you need to use a sunscreen on your face and neck, but also during the day on your hands because 90% of wrinkles, including your hands, are caused by the sun. The next thing is uh, you can use some gloves at night. Put a good moisturizer on and put some of those cotton gloves on and that will help uh, keep your skin uh, soft and young looking. And also uh, using glycolic acid, a product with glycolic acid at night on your, on your hands, your face and your neck is actually very good. And so I have one called the um, glycolic coconut cream. Uh, face cream, but you can use it on your hands too. So this product will both exfoliate and moisturize. So if you put this on at night, put those gloves over it, and you can really do a great treatment. And the last thing, and this is when I'm going to tell my story, is you can use, um, you, you need a nice manicure. So right now we are, um, no nail places are open because of the COVID situation. And so I decided I would go back to what I did in my teens, and that is to have these press-on nails. So you can go to any grocery store or Walmart, Walmart, and you can get these press-on nails. Now, they say if you have lighter skin, it would be a good idea to have pink. If you have medium skin, it would be coral. And if you have darker skin or olive skin, that... Um, Fall colors are great on your nails, but you know, it's totally up to you. I personally like the French manicure with the white tips because it just goes with everything. It looks clean and natural and you don't have to change the color up with your clothes. So in regards to these nails, when I was a teenager, I loved to use these nails and I had just pulled them all off. They still had glue on them and just set them on a little table next to me and I was watching TV with the lights off. So my dad came in, he scooped them up, and before I could say anything, he threw them in his mouth. And then he said, what are these? He spit them back out in his hand. And I said, Dad, those are my press-on nails with used glue. He said, I thought it was candy. So if you use these, make sure you get rid of them right away and don't let any of your family members eat them. So that's all I have to say today on having uh, nice hands. And I hope that helped. And I will put the, um, in the description box, I will put the glycolic coconut cream for your face, neck, and hands. And I'll see you next time.